Hello, it's me again. I've got a bug to file, and I thought I'd take you along with me as I have my cup of coffee in the morning and file a bug. So, the reason I wanted to record this video is to show you what the process is like filing a bug. Uh, and it's different for each bug, but for this one, it's not super complicated. I don't think it's going to require a lot of interaction between me and the developer. And that'll become apparent when I show you the bug. Uh, I didn't actually discover the bug. Somebody else did. Uh, and they let me know about it. And I said, I'll file a bug on your behalf. Don't worry. Uh, because I knew that I could do it quickly. And I knew that I could speak to the developer involved and make sure that they see it. Okay. Typically, it's not a good idea to try and proxy every single bug in Ubuntu through me. That's not scalable, obviously, which is partly why I'm doing this video. So you understand how I file the bug and how I get to where I got to. Uh, so you can file them yourself. I'm not saying we need more bugs filed in Ubuntu, but if you happen to discover one and you need to file it, yeah, this is this is how I I go about it. Uh, now, some of it, there's knowledge ingrained in my head, uh, and some of it, I will try and explain how I get that knowledge and how we, how we get to where we are. So let's start with the bug. So someone I was chatting to on Telegram last night uh, said to me and posted a screenshot and said, hey, this text should be uh, using words, not, not technical terms. So they were highlighting the difference between on this particular page. They sent me a screenshot. Here's a thing that's got some text, but these things here don't have you know English words. They have technical terms, and that seems inconsistent. And I agreed. So I asked where they found this, and uh, it was in the settings. So if we go to settings, we can see this so that I could reproduce the bug. Uh, and the way to get to it is in settings, you go to applications, and then you find a particular application. They were using something called Susumi, which is a snap that I made, which is why they were talking to me. And you'll notice I can reproduce this, this issue. There are some pieces of plain text here that describe permissions, and then there's a few in here like Network Bind, OpenGL, KVM, and Audio Playback that there are technical terms. You know, you could probably figure out what they mean, but these are more friendly to have descriptions. And so I thought, well, I don't know where this text comes from. So I, I don't know how, how this issue has arisen. So I thought, well, it's late on at night on a Sunday. And I know one of the people who's responsible for this piece of work happens to live in Australia, uh, New Zealand. And I thought, they're probably awake now. So I pinged them on IRC. And here we are. This is a conversation at midnight my time when uh, Robert, who works on this area, was probably awake. So I just pinged him on IRC in the Ubuntu desktop channel and said, hey, where do those words come from? Also, good morning. Uh, and he explained where they come from in the code and said the text came from one of the design team. MPT is a member of the design team. So I said, okay, where should I file a bug? It looks bad having you know, the inconsistency. Uh, and he said, file it against GCC and assign to me. Now, GCC is an abbreviation for something. I happen to know what he meant by that. But if you didn't, you could ask, what do you mean by GCC? I happen to know. What he means is GNOME Control Center. And GNOME Control Center is this thing. This is called GNOME Control Center. And that's the package name that you need to know to file the bug against the right thing, right? Um, if you didn't know this was called GNOME Control Center, one of the ways you can find out is actually in System Monitor. If you open System Monitor, this is a, a bit of a, um, a hacky way of doing it. There are other ways of finding out what package a thing is in, but this is one way. If you sort by CPU utilization in the, in the uh, process monitor and then go to settings, you'll see something will appear in here. Oh, look, GNOME Control Center jumped to the top of the list. And that's the thing that I've currently got open. And if I start using it, 
to do the thing that I want to reproduce. You can see it's at the top of the list. It's the thing that I currently have active, gnome hyphen control hyphen center. So we figured out the name of the process. This is this is the name of the Linux process uh, that is uh, that we need to file the bug against, gnome control center. And what we can do is as a tool, uh, if it's a, a Debian package such as this one, we can do a thing called uh, which gnome control center. So that's where GNOME Control Center lives, and we can say which Debian package provides that, and you could do that with dpackage minus s, like that. So now it says, well, actually, the Debian package name is GNOME Control Center, and that's what we would file the bug against um, in Launchpad. You can combine those two things. You could do dpackage minus s, and then in backticks, do which GNOME Control Center. And it combines the two commands together. Some people prefer syntax of dollar brackets, which gnome control enter, like that, I think. But either way, you get the same result. You know, we now know the name of the package that we need to file a bug against. Um, that's one way of doing it. There are other ways. If you have another way, leave a comment below and tell me how you do it. Um, but that's that's certainly one way. Uh, another way would be to use something like Synaptic Package Manager or something and search for GNOME and search for the description. So just have a bit of a rummage around in the package lists. I mean, you could also, you know, apt search settings and you'd get a whole load of stuff and then you'd, you know, try and filter and look for the one that's got GNOME in it. There's various ways of doing this, but now we know I can file a bug. Now, there's a couple of ways to file a bug. There's the hard way <laughs> this is the easy way the hard way is knowing the url to get to which is like um ubuntu slash plus source and then the package name control center plus bugs right that's the bug url it's a you can always like bodge the url directly in launchpad it's launchpad.net the project name plus source because these are the source packages that make up this project and then the name of the package and then plus bugs will take you to the bug list for any package. You could do this for any package at all. So if I just put Firefox in there or something in that bit there, there we go. I can see once it loads, there we go. The bugs in the Debian package of Firefox. So this is one way to do it because once you're here, you can click the report a bug button and then report the bug. The other way to do it is to use the Ubuntu bug tool. Uh, the net result is much the same, but if you use Ubuntu bug, then it attaches some information about your system, like the version number, which is very useful if the developer thinks, well, I've already fixed that in version number, whatever, and you're running an older version, then they know that they can close that bug and say, just wait for an update because that's already fixed, for example. So what we do is if we do Ubuntu bug, gnome control center, because we know that's the package name, that's the Debian package name. Collects information like version number, that kind of stuff. How the system was installed, I think. There's not a lot of information it collects, I don't think. I think maybe what extensions you have installed, what plugins you have or something. I don't know. But each package has its own set of things that get gathered. And you can look at the summary, like, you know, what is going to be gathered, like the version of everything and, you know, whether I upgraded or did a clean install what version of the kernel, all that kind of stuff. And I just hit send. When I do that, it takes me to that URL that I mentioned earlier, launchpad.net slash Ubuntu plus source, the package name, and then plus file bug. And then this UID thing, which refers to the data that I've just sent. So if I say uh, inconsistency in naming of, what are those things? What do we call them? Uh, they call permissions and access of and access. I can't see any existing bugs that describe that by the look of it. Uh, if there was an existing bug, I can click on this little link here and it'll open it in a new tab. 
like this and then i can read the bug and figure out if that maybe is describing my problem but it isn't so i'm going to say no i need to report a new bug so in i've got to describe how to reproduce this um home control center go to applications select a snap actually let's do this in a better way uh steps to reproduce <laughs> Install a snap such as so sumi. This is how I reproduced it. Open GNOME control center. I guess so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm doing here is just describing how they can reproduce the issue I see in applications section. Search for the snap. Note the missions are listed some with script text and some with technical. That's the uh, outcome. Expected outcome is that all missions should have readable text. And what I'll do is take a screenshot of the problem so they can see it. So I'll just Alt Print Screen, Kapow takes a screenshot, and then go back to my browser. And down here, there is a way to extra options, attach a file. And so I'll just go to uh, Pictures, and that is the screenshot I want. That's it. So I've said there's an inconsistency of the naming. Uh, these are the steps to reproduce. This is the outcome. This is our expected outcome. Um, browse, and I've got a screenshot. Job done. Submit bug report. Now, what Robert said, uh, there we go, it's filed, and there's my screenshot attached to it, and there's some various technical information. One of the things Robert said was assign it to me. Now, I don't, I don't know that everyone will be able to do this. He says assign to me. What that means is this bit over here. I wouldn't recommend everyone does this and goes around assigning bugs to people because that's a bit rude. You're effectively giving people to-do lists of stuff they need to do, and it also pings them when, when a bug gets assigned to them. So don't do this, but he's asked me to, so I will. So in theory, I should be able to go unassigned and then look for Robert Ansel. That's the one. And uh, extra tip, it's got his canonical email address on it and his affiliation to Ubuntu, so that's the right one. Sometimes you'll find multiple people um, with the same name. So, yeah, just make sure you pick the right person. There we go. Done. That's it. I filed my bug. It didn't take long. wasn't hard. Um, and Robert can now look at that at his leisure. And... Uh, hopefully fix it so yeah that was it that was uh, a very brief video this morning i just wanted to show you uh, the thought process and how i go about finding a bug like that it's not a deeply technical bug it's just something doesn't look right <laughs> so it, it needed filing so um, i hope that was useful and uh, let me know if you have any questions ask them in the comments below do feel free to uh, subscribe and share this with uh, with other people who might be interested in uh, contributing as well. Thanks, everyone. Hope you have a good day.